Hey, what's up, everybody? Listen, I got a quick word of encouragement for you today. Uh, something that was on my mind and my spirit this morning. And it relates to anybody that feels like throwing in the towel. And there are many reasons, many categories that we may feel like just, just throwing our hands up and quitting spiritually, politically, you know, with this recent election. I know there are a lot of folks that are just exasperated with politics and and the way things seem to go sometimes. Some people are at a place in their life with their relationships that they are just tired and don't really want to fight anymore. And then some people are just tired of struggling financially. And then there's that psychological and mental fatigue that we deal with from time to time that just makes us want to throw up our hands and say, you know what, I'm done. I can talk about these things because I've been there before. I've had my various episodes and issues uh, with being just tired, tired of life, tired of failing, tired of self, tired of systems, tired of people, and yes, even sometimes tired of the church. Don't judge me. But I look at Colossians 3 and 15 as a source of constant affirmation for me. And it is a verse that has always giving me solace and giving me the aptitude to realign myself spiritually, mentally, psychologically, emotionally uh, when I needed to. And I want to just share it with you today. Again, it's a familiar passage, nothing new here, but I want you to hear what Colossians 3 and 15 says. It says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also you are called in one body and be thankful. Now, I referenced this scripture earlier in the week or maybe last week. I know it was last week in a daily devotion. And for some reason, I just cannot seem to escape this particular passage where it says, let the peace of God rule in your hearts. And I want you to just trust that the peace of God has the ability, has the power, has everything you need to govern your emotions, to govern your feelings to govern your disposition. And oftentimes you just have to confess what the word of God says and expect and allow that confession to be the conduit that transfers the power of God into your life. I wanna encourage you to join me today in a confession that I believe will bless you because it has blessed me today. And I just wanna share it with you. If you will, trust me enough to repeat after me. Say, I confess that God's supernatural peace dominates me. Mm. Let me say that again. I confess that God's supernatural peace dominates me. Say this, when my emotions try to take control of me and I'm tempted to get angry, frustrated, aggravated, disappointed, sad, or even jealous, I will choose to put these emotions aside. And I will allow the Spirit of God to release a supernatural, dominating, overruling peace to govern my heart, govern my mind, and govern my emotions. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. I also declare by faith that I am refilled and recharged with the Spirit of God. Now, I really feel like somebody needed that, so I'm going to say it again. I hope that you're declaring this over your life today. I declare by faith that I am refilled and recharged by the Spirit of God. There is no lack of strength in me. Mm, say that again. There is no lack of strength in me because God continuously provides an endless supply of His Spirit in my life that empowers me to achieve everything I need to do. And we'll close with this. 
And I pray that you're sensing and feeling the presence of God as we confess these things, as we declare these things over our lives, over our feelings, over our emotions, over our frustrations, over our disappointments, over our setbacks, that you will declare these things and stand on the word of God. Say this with me. And let me tell you something. When God put this in my spirit to say this morning, it blessed me tremendously. And I said, I know I got to share this because this can't be <laughs> just for me. This has to be, I believe, for a lot of other people right now who are simply at a place where they need to be refilled, re-energized, reinvigorated, maybe even refocused. So repeat after me and say this and just let the Holy Spirit do what only the Holy Spirit can do. Say, just because I feel defeated, I am not defeated. Say it again. Just because I feel defeated, I am not defeated. There is no excuse for me to fail. There is no excuse for me to quit. There is no excuse for me to stop short of the goals and the assignment that God has given me for my life. Thank you, God, <laughs> for your spirit that resides in me, that allows me to know that there is more than enough supernatural strength and more than enough supernatural power to enable me to finish my divine assignment. And I declare these things by faith in the name of Yeshua, Christ Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. And when I tell you I felt strongly compelled to set up my camera, to walk you through this declaration and confession, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is by the leading of God that I am doing it. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that when you have watched it and listened to it and prayed this prayer with me, you are going to feel and sense and experience a divine supernatural recharge, a divine supernatural refill, and a divine supernatural refocus. The enemy's job is to discourage the body of Christ in between where they are and where they want to be. He did it with the people of Israel. He did it with David. He did it with Daniel. He even did it with Jesus. But here's what I know about God. Because the Holy Spirit has been sent to be with us, to govern us, to guide us, to keep us, to seal us, that no weapon formed against us not just about me, it's not about you, it's not about any single individual, no weapon formed against us can prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, we shall cast it down, for this is our inheritance. Now listen, I pray that you allow this moment in time to be a moment of refreshing and restoration in your life. Be encouraged and believe what God has said. <laughs> Even if you don't feel like, you know, believing it, you don't feel like it's happening, you don't feel like God is leaning in your direction, believe what God is saying. You know, I was thinking that it's amazing how one person can be in a season of blessing and another person can be in a season of testing. And both people have to understand that it is the same God that loves both people in the blessing and the testing. And it is the same God that has promised that he will, when it's all said and done, make sure that all things work together for your good. 
You guys have a blessed day. And I look forward to reading and seeing who God has used this moment, declaration, confessing, this little time of encouragement to really empower and encourage and uplift today. You have a blessed day.